Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week we head off to BC's famous Whistler Blackcomb Mountains. We're going to go high up in the mountains and figure out how run of river produces electricity. This 7.5 megawatt run of river operation is on Fitzsimmons Creek. It's owned and operated by Interjex, a Quebec-based company that's a big developer of run of river projects. Don Gamash is the powerhouse operator. We're in the Fitzsimmons Creek powerhouse currently. We're looking at the penstock. The penstock started at 995 meters above sea level, and currently what you're looking at is it's down to 750 meters above sea level. Puts water through this piece of pipe through to the Pelton turbine, which has six nozzles on it that allows it to um, spin and rotate the generator. Run of River is a kinder, gentler, much smaller form of hydroelectric development. You divert part of the flow of a creek into a pipe that flows downhill for several kilometers using the force of gravity to build up tremendous pressure. That force is used to turn a turbine in a small power plant building below. The water is then returned to the creek and no water is stored behind a dam. To get a sense of the scale, we hopped on a snowmobile and headed up, way up, to where the creek is diverted. After watching Don working hard in the thigh-deep snow, Richard Blanchett and Oliver Robson of Interject showed up to explain further. The run of the river, like as it says, like you use the water that is available at the moment it is available. So there is no storage of water for future use. You only can use what comes down the river. So there is no change in the like hydrological regime of the of the river what is upstream of the projects will be the same thing that what is downstream of the power plant and the only impacts will be on the diversion reach where you have the in, between the intake and the power plant where some water will be diverted through the the penstock with less environmental impact than traditional hydro development bc has jumped on the run of river bandwagon there are currently 52 projects with more on the way the projects, though, are not without their impacts. The Globe and Mail reports that a government audit found more than 700 water use and reporting violations from 16 projects in a 2010 report. Fitzsimmons Creek had 25 violations in 2010, but by 2012, Interjects had cut that down to just three. To protect the environment, minimum flow rates must be maintained, and studies help projects avoid impacts on fish. BC has uh, all the elements you need in the equation for run of the river, like you benefit from like uh, coastal mountain, like very high head, you have tons of creeks, huge accumulations of rain and snow, uh, which provides like the flow you need. So it, it's the perfect topography, perfect climate, and uh, there is huge potential in British Columbia. While this project provides all of the electricity that the Whistler Blackcomb Resort needs, you'd be hard pressed to spot it without being told where it was. Oliver Robson is a project engineer with Interjex. Well here we're in a high traffic area and being in Whistler, but no one really knows it's here. The only place you'd really see it is from the peak to peak gondola when you look down. Uh, the powerhouse, you wouldn't be able to see it unless you knew the exact road to be on. But here we are in the middle of Whistler and you wouldn't even know it's here. To find out more about Run of River, to see photo galleries, and to check out our blog post, head to Green Energy Futures. Ca. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thanks for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.